Yeah, okay, so in addition to working with uh, discipleship training schools, I also work with our University of the Nations. Yeah, and so, um, and to just give you a kind of a quick history of the University of the Nations, the, the U of N actually started as um, Pacific and Asian University. And it was really, the Kona campus was the, was the um, focus and most of our schools, other than DTS and maybe SOE, um, were uh, really run out of Kona. I'm generalizing, okay? So, um, but the deans of the colleges that make up the university, they all lived in Kona. So there was this early, um, you know, Lauren uh, and then um, Howard Momstadt. So Lauren's the president. Howard was the international provost. Well, we didn't even call him international provost, just provost. So those were early, early days. And then we moved into phase two where um, uh, God led us to change the name of the university to the University of the Nations. And now uh, the university was um, growing all over the world. And we had leaders that were taking their place um, as college deans or center directors, and we have committees. But, and that's kind of where we were up until last year. And even though we've got schools that have multiplied into many nations, and we have schools that have multiplied into many languages, okay, the official language of the leadership of the University of the Nations is English. It's English. Right. And so um, we've come to the point in our history where um, we have outgrown the way that we gather. We've outgrown the way that we even put our catalog together. We've just isn't that great news? Like we God's has led us beyond the way we even structure ourselves. So we're in a phase right now of trusting God to lead us how to organize ourselves in different parts of the world, but in such a way that non-English speakers can take their place in our midst, in our structure, in our leadership, and we can hear their voice, right? We can hear, um, they can lead us forward. They can help us understand how to multiply the university in their part of the world in a way that really serves their people. And so now that's a little bit of you know what's going on behind the scenes but what I'm excited about is the same way God's Spirit is in young people and God is moving them and amazing things are happening well of course God's Spirit is in every one of us in Youth with a Mission and there are so many parts of our mission that have treasures and wealth that we have an opportunity to now to give them a platform give them a voice so not only can they lead their part of the world forward, but they can influence the rest of the world. So we're on the verge of that. I'm, I actually am at the moment the acting provost. Um, I've taken over from Tom Bloomer, who was our international provost. So I'm the acting international provost. And I'm, uh, I, I'm excited because I know God is going to raise up a team and he's going to answer our questions as we seek him. Okay, how can we, how can we, um, um, adjust our, 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 our organizational structures and rhythms to keep up with the way he's growing the university around the world. So I'm excited about that.